In this video, I'm going to be showing how to read OBD2 diagnostic codes and data from KTM TPI two strokes. If you look at the service schedule for the KTM TPI two strokes, you'll see the first and last items mentioned are to read out the fault memory using the KTM diagnostic tool. Um, the KTM tool is only available to KTM mechanics, so that's not something I can get hold of. Uh, but I was still keen to uh, be able to read out the fault memory so I could identify whether there are any issues I need to address. So I did a bit of research into the interface used in the KTM TPI two strokes and found out that it's a CAN bus system and uh, that I should be able to use that OBD2 diagnostic scanner to read out the codes. Here's the hardware I purchased. The piece in the middle is an ELM327 OBD2 Wi-Fi enabled diagnostic scanner. And uh, my research revealed that if you have an iOS device, uh, you should get the Wi-Fi enabled version. And if you have an Android device, then it's best to get the uh, Bluetooth version. I purchased this from Amazon in Japan for about uh, $15. And the Wi-Fi scanner has a OBD2 16 pin connector. And you'll find that the uh, KTM TPI bikes have a six pin connector, CAN bus connector. So you need a, a conversion cable. Um, so this conversion cable uh, I purchased from a company in the UK called uh, Lonilec, and uh, it was about uh, 15 UK pounds. And it converts the OBD2 16 pin connector to the KTM six pin connector. I'll put a link to the cable in the description of the video. So my bike is a 2019 KTM 250 XE TPI. Uh, it should work fine on uh, 300 models and also uh, 2018 TPI models as well. On the KTM TPI two strokes, the CAN bus connector is located on the seat here. And uh, it, it's easy to spot because it's a six pin connector and it has this protective cap on it. To remove the cap, you just um, press up on the tab and pull it off. To connect up the scanner, take your uh, adapter cable and uh, then plug it into the CAN bus connector. In order to access the diagnostic codes, the bike needs to be running. So I'm going to start the engine, which will power on the OBD2 scanner. And then on my iPhone Wi-Fi setting, I select the OBD2 network and connect to the scanner. And then I start the Car Scanner app, which is a free app, and it connects to the scanner. Takes a little while. And then you can select various data. So this is a dash which shows the uh, engine RPM, the voltage, and also the coolant temperature. And another screen shows various voltages. And this shows the uh, fuel uh, rate and the RPM and also the OBD2 voltage. And then if you want to show the codes, you select the diagnostic travel codes. And it, it takes a little while to uh, load them, probably about 10 seconds or so. But you can see here I have no uh, diagnostic codes found. If you did, it would list them out. Okay, so it's great to know that uh, using some fairly cheap hardware and a free app on your uh, smartphone or tablet uh, that you can read out the diagnostic codes and also some useful uh, data and information from the bike. Mm -hmm.